Are you confused about when you need to have a pap smear done or an HPV smear? A lot of women are, and I have to say a lot of doctors are too. And we find all kinds of things from doing pap smears in teenagers all the way up to people that are 90 years old on an annual basis by a lot of doctors. Well, fortunately, the United States Preventive Services Task Force, which is a governmental organization that looks at screening tests, has come up with some protocols that I think make some sense. The whole business of cancer screening for anything is confused because the data that we have, the outcome data, doesn't really, isn't really easy to interpret. So it's good that we have an organization like the Preventive Task Force Services to do this for us. And what they came up with pap smears is that between the ages of 21 and 65, you need a pap smear about every three years or every five years if you've had an HPV test, the human papillomavirus test for cancer. If you're over the age of 65 and you've been screened on a regular basis, you don't ever need a pap smear or an HPV test again. Also, if you are going to screen for people who have uh, HPV virus, you don't need to start it until about age 30, according to them. Because if you, if, you real, if, you, if you study HPV, you know that it's really a common infection, and most of the time it clears on its own. And of course, the cancers that are going to develop take many years to develop, and there's time to do HPV screening after that, and it's really not necessary sooner. When they did pap smears every three years instead of every year, they found that you saved the same number of lives and you did only half of the diagnostic tests that followed that often uh, led to false positive tests, a lot of concern on the part of women, of course, a lot more expense. They also stated that for women that had a hysterectomy and the cervix removed with it, that there was no reason to be doing any further pap smears unless there was some kind of uh, earlier uh, finding from a cancer or something that was almost a cancer. In women over the age of 65, if you did three consecutive uh, negative pap smears and, or had two negative tests where you did a pap smear and an HPV screen, there's no need to do a pap smear again. So this should cut through some of the confusion because I know that a lot of doctors are recommending pap smears that don't need to be done, that are leading to too many tests, that are leading to too much worry and too much expense.